So we just made it to uh, Greenbelt 5, I believe it's called, and uh, there's a couple of designer stores around me. We got Cartier behind me, we got Hermes over there. We're gonna go and look for the van store, and hopefully we can find the uh, those deconstructed vans. But in the meantime, there's a bunch of other stores here as well. So let's show you guys those, and I'll show you guys if we can find those vans at the end of the vlog. I've now ended up at Greenbelt 4, and this section of the mall is packed with designer stores. So we have Louis Vuitton behind me, we have Balenciaga behind me, we got Gucci and Burberry now behind me. There's a lot of designer stuff here, a little bit out of my price range. Designer stuff in the Philippines is much more expensive here than versus in Canada and America, and that's just because there's a lot less wealthy people, and so in order for the stores to stay open, they have to charge more money to the customers that come shopping for designer stuff. So let's, uh, let's get out of here and get going to the actual stores I plan to shop at. So now we're here at Greenbelt 5 and this is the section of the mall that I believe has Commonwealth and Calme de Garçon Play, which are the two main stores I'm gonna be trying to shop at here today. Hopefully they have the Calme de Garçon pop up because uh, Last time I was here, it was here, and they had some stuff on sale. If you guys wanna see that video, I'll leave it linked down below. So if you guys wanna see what they had back then versus now, that's the way to do it. But I'm hoping, 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 crossing my fingers that it's here. And uh, I know CAVAMP just released a bunch of new stuff for the fall and winter, so if they have that stuff at Commonwealth, I'm probably gonna buy it because it's much cheaper to buy it here in Asia versus back home in Toronto. <laughs> So they have a really cool display for the Carhartt and Nike collaboration stuff. We have the uh, Nike Air Max 95s right here. I actually really dig this version of the Air Max 95. I'm not really a fan of the Air Max 95 in general. They have a few of these like Vapor Max utility kind of sneakers. Pretty cool. I actually like these a lot and I'm not really a huge fan of the Vapor Max model. They of course sell Cavempt at the store so they have a few of the new pieces. Here's a lavender t-shirt that just dropped. This is the newest piece that I really want to get. The Kev Emperor sweater, and then we have the famous Kev Pants on the side. The price for this Kev sweater is also 11,900 pesos, and these prices are all including tax, by the way. Thick brown Kev sweater. We have like a globe right here embroidered in with these arrows going around it. Kev design with an exclamation point for the uh, eye. It has a really nice cut to it, too. You guys can see the way it comes inward and tapers to your body. And uh, we've got the badge right there. And then the brown hoodie right here is 16,900. We have a very, very simple black Cavem sweater. It has Cavem and Cavem written in embroidery on, on the sides right there. Then you flip it on the back. And the back is where it's really, really loud. So it reminds me of Minecraft right away, just because I see squares, I see green, I think Minecraft Creeper. And this black sweater I just showed you guys is 11,900 pesos as well. We have this new Adidas drop right here. It looks like it's a collaboration with White Mountaineering. Really cool tech wear kind of vibe jacket. And take a look at these right here. These sneakers, more like boots. These are like a Turex sneaker, Gore-Tex surround on the bottom right there. Really cool like kind of boot. And I don't know if I could wear this anytime soon. Probably, probably when I go back to Canada, I could wear this. These are pretty cool. And then over here, we have like a low top version. And these remind me of those Kyle Lowry basketball sneakers I got from Adidas not too long ago. Stone Island is also a popular brand here that they sell at Commonwealth. They have some jackets, they have some pants, they have some t-shirts. So if you're looking for some Stony and you want to become a part of the uh, the Stony gang, you can do so. I'm a fan of this sweater, but it'll probably cost me my uh, my left test. Um, I mean, my left uh, arm. They have these new Stone Island Shadow Project pants that just dropped. Really nice cargo pants. A lot of you guys ask me about my cargo pants, the ones I'm always wearing. They are Stone Island, and I paid about 550, 600 dollars uh, in Japan for these at Isoten Mall. 
in Shinjuku, but they have this pants right here for 545 Canadian or uh, 404 US dollars. That's 21,500 pesos. This is actually a store where they sell the Hypebeast magazine. Might have to pick this up. They got the uh, ZX500 Commonwealth collaboration still in the store. If you guys want to see my review on these, check out my uh, second channel, Sneaker Talk 365. Here's some look at the vans, the Adidas that they have. They got these new Temper Runs. These are pretty cool, it's like an olive colorway. Really like these. This is definitely an underrated dad shoe from Adidas. These don't get too much love. If you're a fan of the recent Easy um, 700s, no, yeah, 700s, then you might like these. Similar color palette, black gray with a hit of weird green. They have a few of the undefeated sneakers here, including the Ultra Boost. We have some more looking weird, weird looking vans. Are these vans? Yeah, vans and tech. I don't even know the name, how to pronounce that. I'm not gonna try, bro. But yeah, they got those. They got some Sobokovs. Here's a look at more of the Stone Islands. Lots and lots of patches. This is different. I've actually never seen these colorways of the Adidas Derupt. That's more of like a luxe lifestyle colorway. Sail with a hit of the uh, Bacchetta Tan on the very back of the shoe with the Adidas branding. And they also made a black version here as well. They got the waxed laces. This is definitely a more premium version of the Adidas Derupt Runner. These are pretty dope too. Definitely give off like a tech wreck kind of vibe. The uh, BOD 3.1 Slam Jam collaboration. These are the sneakers that they have available. We got some of the Chuck Taylor 1970s with the hearts on the side. We got the ones with the polka dots too. These came out, I think, a year or two ago. And then they have these, and I actually bought this exact one last time I was here two months ago. And they have an extra discount as well on these. So they have these two sizes, or these two smaller sizes available. Here's a look at some of the uh, t-shirts that they have. We got this weird stretched one. It looks really, really funny. This looks like what happens when you're playing around in MS Paint and you stretch an image and that's what comes out. They got a few of the striped shirts as well. And uh, yeah, not too much selection when it comes to the clothing. They have this shirt right here, which I know a lot of people love. It's the double helmet design. And these are going for 4,390 pesos. I would much rather buy it in Japan. It's much cheaper there. So we're done at the CGG Play booth. There wasn't too much that was catching my eye besides the pro leathers, which you're gonna just buy again. And that's just gonna be bought for like resale or trading. They wanted uh, 5,670 pesos for those. That's a 30% off discount applied to that. I'm gonna research a little bit. I'm gonna search on like eBay and Grail see what they're currently going for because I know that price but 30% off is really good and it's definitely a sneaker I could see myself bringing to a consignment store and uh, just like selling over there. Next up we're going to Greenbelt 3 and uh, this portion of the mall actually has a store that sells a bunch of Supreme so we're gonna check that out and check this out. Here at the top man we have some legit vlogs merch Gucci prints or Gucci uh, Gucci color scheme with legit in the middle Legit Vlogs, Tim, are you getting your royalties? So this next hypey store is called Popcorn, and uh, they don't sell any popcorn, unfortunately. Brands like Daily Paper, which I have no idea about. They have like uh, a pretty funny DHL, not DHL, a Western Union <laughs> themed shirt. It's <laughs> pretty jokes, 3,000 pesos. They also have Billionaire Boys Club t-shirts for 4,500 pesos. We've got some hype, a little bit of hype going on here. We've got the, uh, the astronaut logo here, 4,500 pesos. And a whole bunch of stuff here too. They also have some anti-social social club. Quite the selection here. But these are also resale prices. They're not regular retail. So it's like a half retail and half resale store. For those of you guys who do not know about popcorn. And this is, I think, their new flagship location. But I think they have other locations as well in the Philippines. Maybe one other or two. This is awesome. They also have the brand FR2, which stands for rabbits it's a japanese brand and this is like a kfc inspired uh sweater it's like a box logo sweater fck and you guys can see on the bottom right here it has two rabbits well you know and they also have a, a black with a red one as well oh check take a look at the back there's like chicken on the back there's some fried chicken on the back that's awesome and look look at the colonel sanders face it's like a couple doing it but it makes that colonel sanders face that's freaking hilarious i just want to f you effing rabbit. <laughs> what the heck? And this hoodie is 10,000 pesos along with the uh, the black one. I'm super, super tempted to buy it right now, but I know I can get it probably much cheaper in Japan where it's made. So 
definitely when I go back to Japan, I think in January or February, I'm gonna stop by FR2. Because the KFC knockoff sweater is freaking hilarious. And as you guys know, KFC, KFC is the homie on the channel. If you've been watching for at least more than a couple of months, you would know this. These are some more FR2 uh, shirts. We have the Smoking Kills one right here. This is going for 7,000 pesos. Nothing on the back. Black colorway. Check this out. KFC shirt for 7,000 pesos. And on the very back of it, it has like just a photo of KFC from way, way back. Slightly altered images right there on the back. We got some more smoking kills. And uh, yeah, that's it for the uh, FR2 brand. Oh, we got a black one. 7,000 pesos. That hurts. Here's a look at the Supreme accessories that they have. A lot of selection available here. I think this is a beach blanket or like a regular blanket. One of the two. There's also a few Supreme t-shirts over here. We have this gold and silver stitching one going for 10,599 pesos. We have... <laughs> this looks like a photo I would have taken by accident at nighttime. Um, and it's on a Supreme shirt for 7,299 pesos. This straight up looks like an accidental Snapchat photo. Um, but let's just let's move on to the next piece. Public enemy in front of the White House. This is going for 9,299 pesos. made it the final store of the day, Vans. In the moment of truth, it looks like they don't have the Vans I'm looking for, unfortunately. So I have to meet up with Carlo, but the thing is, Carlo's gonna be done his meetings and his work at 6.30, which means I have about two hours to kill. I've yet to watch that new Spider-Man movie, so we're gonna watch the Spider-Man movie right here at the mall. I'm not a huge fan of those new Spider-Man sneakers, the Chicago remixes. I'll have a video talking about some sneakers I don't like coming up on the channel very soon. But I do have to show you guys my designer pickups and recent pickups. So I'll show you guys all that stuff over at Carlos' house. And man, I spent a ton of money. So let's get over to those pickups right now. So this is the Zoomfly Pegasus 35 Turbo. So this was actually hard to get in the Philippines unless you get it through resellers. I have no idea why. It's supposed to be a general release pair. Uh, the reason why I want to get this for two reasons. Number one, uh, a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers are saying it's the most comfortable sneaker by Nike to date. I want to try that out. And number two, uh, I'm just kind of tired with all the ultra boosts. <laughs> so <laughs> I want something different. So yeah, let's just show you guys what it looks like. I got it in blue, so it looks really nice. Dark blue, then transitions to like royal and then light blue. And you have a mix of React and Zoom for the midsole. So that I think is what's supposed to make it super comfortable. All right, so we made it back to Carlos' crib and now I'm gonna show you guys the pickups for today's video. First off, we gotta give a huge thank you to the friends over at Puma. They sent these over to me back in Canada before I got here in Manila for this trip. So this here is the Puma 
Clyde Court Disrupt in the South Beach colorway. These came out on December 8th, and I gotta say, this is probably my favorite colorway out of the four that I've released so far. It's just very loud, very vibrant. It's a little strange that they released it, you know, in the middle of winter, but it definitely brings the heat in terms of footwear when it comes to a new colorway for this silhouette. So I was not expecting this sort of color palette on this shoe. Great job, Puma. You guys nailed it. And I'll have a review over on my second channel, Sneaker Talk 365. I'll leave it linked down below. So let me throw these on feet, give you guys a little on foot action, and I'll be right back with the other pickups, which are very, very expensive. So this next pickup is actually the shirt I'm wearing right now. It is this Y3 shirt. So let me let me stand up, give you guys a little, little action, close up action. So it has this embroidery right here with a circle, sort of like a little stitching pattern there. We have Die Mike, I don't even know how to read German, but it says, I think the I think it says the brand with three stripes in German right here, and that says Y3. It's a very thin shirt, so it feels really good, even when I wear it here in the Philippines where it's really hot. One really cool thing about this shirt, which you might not notice, is that there's actually two layers to it, at least in the front. So the one back layer is just the one piece of uh, whatever the material is, but on the front layer, there's actually a second layer underneath and that I'm not even entirely sure what it's for, but it's a nice little touch. So it has a little more thickness in the front, a little, little less thickness in the back, and uh, it's a little bit of a taller sh uh, shirt. So if you're 5'11 like me, you can get away with it. But if you're shorter, maybe you're like 5'4", 5 5'5", 5 5, this shirt's gonna look way too tall on you. So very happy with this shirt. I picked this up for 33% off during Essence's Black Friday sale. So retail price for this shirt was 155 Canadian dollars and I picked it up for a sweet $100. First Y3 shirt and it's perfect timing too because I also picked up some Y3 sneakers during the Black Friday sales. One final detail I also missed out on the shirt is that it actually has your G Yamamoto signature right here, embroidered black on black. Really subtle detail. You would not notice this from afar, but up close you can sort of see it. Next up, let's get to the uh, Balenciaga hoodie. Now typically Balenciaga is a brand that I really don't have any interest in just because it's out of my price range. I'm not really into designer clothing, but this time Essence was having a really good sale on their website for Black Friday and I ended up picking up this Balenciaga hoodie for I think 20% off. I think retail price was 820 Canadian dollars and I picked it up for 620. So let me grab the hoodie right now. And it's this black Balenciaga. I know some of you guys are judging me really hard. I was actually hesitant to tell you guys the prices, but it's a designer hoodie and you guys can probably look it up yourself for the prices, but black Balenciaga hoodie. It says Balenciaga mode and there's a bunch of cat fur on the, sh on the hoodie right now. I gotta delint it, but it says Balenciaga mode BB and it's a really, really soft hoodie. And I mean, it better be. A designer hoodie better be really soft. This was actually made in Portugal. The cut to it is actually really nice as well. It tapers down towards the waist as you wear it. It's not an oversized hoodie. Like I know a lot of hoodies are oversized. This is actually a little more on the cropped side. So if I was any taller than 5'11", I couldn't get away with wearing this, but it's the softest hoodie I've ever felt in my entire life. And uh, it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a low key flex piece. This isn't like a loud Supreme sweater or anything like that. So if you see this, you know, you know, I'm trying to flex a little bit when I'm wearing this. Really soft though, it's not just all hype, but I mean, it better be really good quality when you're paying 620 Canadian dollars on sale. So this is a piece I splurged on. I don't usually buy designer stuff as you guys know. The only designer item I have in my wardrobe besides this is a Gucci uh, pair of sneakers, which I bought at the Gucci outlet in Texas. This was sort of like an early Christmas present to myself because I know I'd be able to wear this a whole bunch because it's black and red and something that's just gonna basically go with every single outfit. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear this on a date night, you can flex at the local convenience store, or you know, you can wear this to brunch with your girlfriend. So yeah, very happy with this piece. And uh, I would definitely recommend it if you guys can afford it. Um, the Balenciaga hoodies are really nice. I'm here in the Philippines and we went to the Balenciaga store a couple of days ago. I'll, I'll leave that vlog linked down below. And the prices here in the Philippines for designer stuff is way, way higher than it is back home in Canada. Like this hoodie retail price in the Philippines is like $1,400 versus Canadian retail in Canada, which is 840. 
insane. Now, scary thing is with this piece, I'm now tempted to look at other Balenciaga hoodies in the future, but realistically, I'm probably not gonna buy another designer hoodie anytime soon. I will cherish this one and get my, uh, my money's worth out of this hoodie. If you guys made it to the very end of the video, do me a huge favor and smash that thumbs up button down below. Enter the free easy giveaway in the description down below. I'll leave the video linked for that. And of course, follow me on Instagram at sneakertalkca. If you are in the Manila area, this weekend we are doing a meet and greet, a meet up at Cop Garden in Makati. It's, we're gonna have a bunch of shoes for sale. Actually, I might be selling these, I'm not too sure. But I'll have a bunch of sneakers and a bunch of clothing for sale at Cop Garden this Saturday from I think 12 to 7 is when we're gonna do it. It's an eight hour thing. I don't know if we're gonna be there for the full eight hours. So stay tuned to our Instagram, at sneakertalkca for some more details on the meet and greet. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys made it to the very end of the video, comment down below what the most is you would ever spend on a hoodie. And uh, if you've ever bought a designer piece before, if so, what designer items do you have? Because I know it's expensive, you probably don't have too much, but if you're balling, flex in the comments. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.